I constantly find myself in Blue Mountains touring some of the most stunning properties that sit on vast acres of land. And so here I am today about to take you on a tour of the ultimate four season playground. Thirty-four six seventy-four Pretty River Road is home to almost 50 acres of land packed with year-round outdoor activities. You get endless private trails through maple forests that are ideal for hiking, biking, snowshoeing and ATVing. There are two large swimming ponds on the property, one of which is packed with trout and they're linked by a creek that runs from a freshwater aquifer on the property. There's even a charming tree house with a lookout. And if that's not enough, there's a tennis court, an outdoor pool, a hot tub, and a barrel sauna that overlooks the escarpment, as well as a fully decked out two bedroom guest cabin with its own kitchen, outdoor deck, sauna, and Starlink internet. Of course, there's no shortage of outdoor space with multiple walkouts and wraparound decks to bask in the sun, as well as an outdoor dining gazebo that overlooks the ponds. And there's no shortage of storage space either. A five bay garage with a carport offers ample space to store all your power sports toys. Pretty River Road is truly the ultimate four season playground and it also offers an inviting six bedroom home with plentiful lounging and entertainment spaces so it's perfect for bringing people together. With that said I'm gonna park this ATV and uh, have you follow me inside so we can start the tour. First thing you notice when you walk in are all these windows which bring in a ton of natural light makes the space feel bright and airy. Above me is a vaulted turret ceiling and a really nice chandelier that is essentially a statement of this space. Not to mention this feature wall, which is a nice touch and adds that element of contrast. Overall, it's warm, it's inviting. You can go to multiple different spaces from here, but where we're going to next is the kitchen. I usually say the kitchen is the heart of the home, but in this case I mean that literally because this kitchen really is in the center of the home. And it has quite a few features and finishes, starting with this glass wall. It essentially acts as a separation between the foyer and the kitchen space without making either of those two spaces feel closed off. So if you're walking in through the front door, you get to see what's going on in the kitchen. If you're already in the kitchen, you see who's coming in, both spaces are staying connected. Above me is a vaulted cathedral ceiling that adds a rustic warmth touch to the room. You've got this massive island with a breakfast bar that's great if you're cooking, prepping, maybe you're hosting and entertaining. Then there's this six burner gas cooktop with a griddle that's inset into the island along with a wolf commercial range hood that drops from the ceiling. So this is essentially what's called an outward facing kitchen because you get to cook and prep and face outwards rather than, you know, face a wall. And it makes for a great cooking experience because you get to talk to people at the breakfast bar, you get to interact with people maybe in the family room, you're staying connected in this space. You also get two wall mounted ovens, a microwave, a sub-zero fridge and freezer, as well as two dishwashers to keep all those plates, you know, tucked away if you, you know, hosting and entertaining, you wanna keep things really clean in this space. Aesthetically, you've got elements that combine new and old. Some new design elements are obviously your stainless steel appliances, these stone countertops, but then you've also got that rustic touch with built-in plate racks and open shelves to, uh, you know, store all the cookware. Over here you have a pantry with sufficient storage, open shelves, plenty of counter space. You've got enough room to store everything that you need for all those, you know, parties that you may have, or personally speaking. 
And now to my favorite part of the, the space is this wet bar. It's a little bit different from most wet bars because it's a little bit more of a generous space. The ceiling is a little bit lower, so it creates that intimate vibe. The light is a little bit more dim. It creates that right ambience. You've got a liquor shelf to create that cocktail of your dreams, a beverage fridge. You've got a wine fridge. So there's really no drink that you cannot find in here. In terms of aesthetics, this chalk wall adds a bit of character to the space. You've got a dishwasher to keep things convenient as well as the sink and a wall mounted TV to keep you entertained. So this is also functional if you're in the kitchen cooking or prepping, you can actually put your favorite TV show on and keep on going. All right, the family room. There's a nice transition from the vaulted ceiling in the kitchen to a whitewashed TNG ceiling in here, which complements the hand scraped hardwood floors for that continued modern farmhouse feel. You've got your stove wood stove in the corner and they say these things warm the heart in the home. And they really do create that intimate soothing feel while also being a great source of heat. Three different areas within this room. You've got a lounging area, which is great perhaps for game nights or just simply conversing. A Tourette room that overlooks the ponds and landscape, which is where your dining table is located for that bite to eat. And finally, a TV lounging area. So as you can see, lots of windows all around, so a ton of natural light. So the space really does feel big and bright. You've got multiple walkouts to the outdoor deck, one over here and another on the other side. So it really does extend that entertainment space outside when you want it most. With the exception of the primary suite, all the bedrooms are behind this barn door. And it's nice because it creates separation from the activity that may be going on out here. It stops the noise traveling through. Down the hallway, you have four bedrooms. Two of the bedrooms share one bathroom while the other two bedrooms share a Jack and Jill. And one of the bedrooms is currently being used as a home office. The primary suite on the other hand is on the opposite side of the main floor and it's located behind the kitchen. It's got a cozy, intimate, bohemian feel. You've got whitewashed wall paneling that creates a soothing, calm sleep space. The vaulted ceiling creates an extra texture and depth. Your ceiling fan enhances air circulation. And as you can see, windows all around with stunning views of the landscape and pond. As you can also see, you've got doors that lead onto your own private deck so you can spend extra time outdoors when the weather calls for it. This is your five piece spa like ensuite and it really has everything you need from his and hers floating vanities to a standalone soaker tub to a curbless walk-in rainfall shower. Now over this way is a water closet with a door for privacy and what makes this space truly unique is that the walk-in closet is connected to the ensuite so you can really get ready in this space without having to actually leave the ensuite especially if there's a sleeping partner that you don't want to disturb. So here we are in the living room, which is another great place to bring people together. You've got comfortable seating facing a wood burning fireplace. I can already picture it, the fire on, the sound of crackling cedar and that smell of burning wood really creating that right ambience. Over this way is your media setup. You've got, uh, well, first and foremost, the homeowner spent approximately $30,000 upgrading the AV system throughout the home so you have surround sound throughout. But in this particular room, you've got a home theater setup. So you've got a wall mounted projector there, uh, speakers all around. And then behind this beam, you have your movie screen. So during the night, people are here gathered around the, the fire and sitting on the couch. You can dim the lights, you can close the curtains and you can really create that immersive movie experience. Now, by the way, these doors actually walk out onto the backyard, 
where you'll find the pool, the hot tub, the sauna. So it's really a, a room that connects everyone and all the spaces together onto the games room. The first thing you notice in this room is the wood paneling throughout that gives it a very traditional cabin-like feel. There's windows all around that offer 180 degree views of the landscape. A few game room essentials include the pool table, which is always a fun game to play with family and friends. Over here is a wall-mounted TV, a Sonos soundbar, and a gaming console, so your full gaming setup. And there's also a walkout onto the outdoor deck that connects to the gazebo over here. So from an entertainment point of view, you've got everything you need from this space. That's pretty much the main floor. That leaves the lower level, so I'll see you downstairs. So the lower level, it's essentially a series of multifunctional, multi-purpose spaces. So I'll walk you through them one by one, starting with this workstation that faces a wall to limit distractions. You've got open shelves and storage to keep you organized and inspired. Over this way is your three-piece bath with a glass enclosed shower. It actually opens onto this room here which is currently being used as an exercise room but it can also be used as a guest bedroom which then opens onto your mud room and laundry room now this space as we all know is a high traffic space so you want to keep things stylish but also efficient you've got three washers and three dryers to help you do that plenty of storage throughout you've got open shelves you've got a ton of wall hooks you really have everything you need to stay organized uh, and keep things clean and tidy as well. And that's it, that's 634 674 Pretty River Road, a forested 50 acre estate, 4,830 square feet of living space, tennis court, two swim ponds, guest cabin, treehouse with lookout, outdoor pool, sauna, hot tub, billiards room, theater room, six bedrooms, four bathrooms, and only the ultimate four season playground, now for sale for $5.199 million. Now that I have your attention, contact listing salesperson Wispy Boyven to get your hands on this listing before it's gone. Don't forget to sign up for a membership on the channel for behind the scenes exclusive content. Follow me on socials and check out my Amazon store for must have household items. And on that note, I'll see you in the next one.